talking about the bags and why a, a hemp bag is better than cotton. And hemp is six times stronger than cotton. And also, um, cotton, regular cotton, if it's not organic, almost 50% of the herbicides and fungicides and pesticides sold are sold to the cotton industry. So, um, cotton can have a lot of stuff in it that you don't want. And there's quite a few chemicals that are already known carcinogens. As opposed to hemp, hemp is grown, hemp doesn't need any chemicals to grow at all. Makes a great cover crop. Um, it's the oldest industry that man knows of. There's a piece of fabric that's um, dated 6000 BC. So hemp has been around for a long, long time. Ben Kayen, and um, I'm a, uh, I kind of do a bunch of different things. I'm uh, a printmaker, so I make uh, t-shirt designs and um, poster designs. And I'm also a musician, so sometimes I'll try to kind of bring the things together. So, uh, like for example, at this festival, I'm, um, I'm playing later on in the family stage, then I'm playing a couple songs tomorrow on the main stage there. And so I thought since I was going to be here playing some music, um, I'd make some uh, poster prints for some songs off of an EP that I put out. And um, each of these posters is, um, is sort of stands alone as a, as a song, or rather as a poster design with the lyrics and a password people can um, get. Um, extra downloads and stuff like that, but if um, you get all of them, it makes one big image, so that's kind of a fun project I'm working on. And then otherwise, I'm just here to um, kind of be part of the event, it's a really nice time. Um, I have some wind and solar designs for the occasion, and uh, that's kind of what I'm doing. Doug Clayton. Okay. Yeah, I've been a biochar enthusiast uh, for about four years now, when I first read uh, 1491 by Charles Mann, um, and um, learned about the uh, Terra Preta, Amazon soil, and uh, the amount of carbon that was in the soil that uh, made it fertile unexpectedly, quest of carbon, and I'd, I'd like to uh, improve soils, and I'd like to heat my house and generate electricity. All If we could do all those things from a single system, that would be fantastic. My name is Tatum, and I'm a career development counselor. I'm working with adults in Chittenden County, Northwest Vermont, Chittenden, Addison, Franklin, and Grand Isle counties for Vermont Green. So we're here to share the news about Vermont Green, which is a new program um, based, well, it started in um, CBCAC, received a substantial grant to bring um, services to the state of Vermont. So career development counselor like myself and Julie and I'm Julie Aitchison and I'm the Vermont Green Youth Program coordinator and I'm just here to represent that part of the program that is dealing with young people between the ages of 16 to 22 who may be living in difficult circumstances of some kind uh, we have a close partnership with the Vermont Coalition for Runaway and Homeless Youth Programs and youth service agencies around the state uh, where we are hoping to get a lot of great referrals for young kids who are looking for some great work experience and job training skills, job readiness, um, career development assistance, who have thought about or are open to thinking about a green career. I'm Mark. Um, I'm working for the Vermont Soap Organic Company on behalf of Larry Pleasant, the owner. Um, and we've got some great soaps today, um, some of our biggest sellers down in this area, oatmeal lavender, uh, lavender flour, shea butter. Um, each bar has a very specific purpose. Some are great for certain kinds of skins. Um, and now we have our replacement products for all other awful, nasty products that people use. This is something called Liquid Sunshine. It's our Aloe Castile. This replaces every product that people have in their uh, cupboard, really. And so, let's say that makes this. Use this on your table in your restaurants. Stop toxifying people with ammonia and all kinds of awful things.